there's a lot of schools now that have administrators in charge of athletics. But it's been my experience that athletic directors know far more about athletics, high school athletics, and particularly their program, than the administrator in charge of athletics. I was an athletic director at one school for 12 years. And I had 10 administrators in charge of athletics in that 12-year period. Only one had any athletic experience at the high school level, but all 10 knew how they wanted it to be run. And all 10 wanted to tell me how to do it. And, and that, and I'm sure you guys have gone through the same thing. That's pretty frustrating when you have somebody that has no idea about what they're talking about trying to get you now to do what they want you to do. And that's what we face. But you know as well as I do, if there becomes a problem, when the rubber meets the road, who's going to be held responsible? You, Mr. Athletic Director, that's the expert in that particular field, right? That's why it's really important for you, for you to protect yourself. Document, document, document. Don't be afraid to speak up. And, and, and if you have a problem with a decision that's being made, let them know. You know, here's what I believe. We're going to do it your way, but I want you to know, I want to go on record as uh, uh, letting you know that, that I don't believe that it will, it will work that way. I had a second year principal. Guy had been at our school going into his second year. It was the summer leading into his second year. And he hired an assistant principal who was brand new to high school athletics. Brand new to high school, period. And that assistant principal came to the athletic department to introduce himself to me and just to find out a little bit about our program. And after about, I don't know, a half hour, 45 minutes of me talking to him about where we are and what we've done and how excited we are about the upcoming season and how well our coaches work together. <clears throat> this assistant principal told me, he says, you know, the reason they put me in charge of athletics was to rein you guys in, all you coaches, and to make sure that you're not running amok. So I said, rein us in. Now, this is a guy that I just met. Rein us in and make sure we're not running amok. So the very next day, because like any good coach, you want to make sure you don't do anything on game day, right? You want to wait till the next day after you've had a chance to sleep on it. So the very next day, I called the principal, and I set up the meeting, a meeting with the principal and this assistant principal. The three of us were sitting in the room there, and the uh, principal said, Carter, you called the meeting, start it. What, what's uh, going on? I said, listen, I, I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page. And this guy told me that you told him that we needed to be reined in as coaches. And you wanted to make sure that we weren't running amok. Well, the principal now, only in his second year, starting his second year, says, I never said that. I don't know what he's, what are you talking about? I never said that. And the assistant principal said, you absolutely said that. <laughs> And these two guys went back and forth, and after about 40 seconds, I excused myself and went back to work while they argued. <laughs>